my face looks dry it feels so dry and my lips as well so I'm going to start off by hydrating and moisturizing my face with this clean and clear morning burst it's the hydrating gel moisturizer I already applied some to my palm and I'm going to apply this all over my face oh it makes oh my god let's go ahead and prime my face and I'm going to use the baby skin Maybelline face primer just going to rub this in all over my face so for my brows, I'm going to go ahead and use this brown eyebrow pencil by Ruby Kisses. I mean, it's a beauty supply brand, but you can also find it in some drugstores as well. Making my eyebrows lighter than I would normally make them because my hair is sort of blonde. When I fill in my eyebrows, I don't care about how it looks now because I just don't. I know my concealer is going to clean up everything. To clean up my brows, I'm going to use the shade Warm Honey for underneath my brows and I'm going to use the shade Chestnut for the top because I want underneath to look a little bit more highlighted on the top of my brows. Okay, so since I'm going for very beginner friendly makeup, I'm going to do something really easy on the eyes, probably a nude slash neutral look. But to first prime my eyelids for my eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and use some concealer. I'm using the same concealer I use for my eyebrows. To set the concealer in place, I'm going to use my CoverGirl Translucent Setting Powder. This is just to help the concealer stay longer as well. This dark brown, actually it's not a dark brown shade, it's more of a dark orange shade. And this is very very affordable, everyone knows stuff from BH Cosmetics is really really affordable. Let's go ahead and pop this in my crease. This is the L'Oreal Le Nude One palette and I'm going to go in with this dark brown shade right here. I'm just going to apply this to the outer corner of my eye. To my Icon palette by Absolute New York as well. So for my eyeliner, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Liquid Liner. messed up on this eyeliner but it's all good I'm gonna clean it up right after the video so for my inner tear duct I'm going to use this NYX genius illuminator palette I'm gonna go in with this shade actually I'm just gonna apply this my inner tear duct and give my eyes a little bit of a tiny glow like so I'm going to go in my angle brush and I'm going to use my <coughs> Maybelline gel liner in shade blackest black it's easy to do this. What you just want to do is trace out your eyes. Oops, that was too long. Like that and connect it to your lower eye. Just like that. Your body 
Hey guys, so to highlight my face, I'm going to use the same concealer I use for my eyebrows, which is the Elegal Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes, my nose, my forehead, my chin, and above my lips. This is just to um, highlight my face so these areas look more enhanced. And I'm also going to use the concealer to clean up my eyeshadow and my wings. Remember when I told you guys that I messed up my eyeliner? This is how to correct your eyeliner mistakes by using some concealer. Using my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. You can also get this from your local drugstore. I got this from Walmart for like $13. Setting powder, I started to use my Satcha Buttercup setting powder. It's $20, you can get it off Amazon. And the reason I use my Satcha Buttercup setting powder instead of my CoverGirl setting powder is because when I use the CoverGirl, it looks a little bit too white on me. So I was like, mm -mm, I'm going to use a Satcha Buttercup instead and apply it right underneath my eyes. I'm not gonna apply too much, just a little bit. Also, found that you can apply this all over your face as well to set your foundation. I'm not leaving it on my face to bake because I don't want that kind of heavy cakey look today. But I'm going to go ahead and blend it out using this small tapered brush I got from BH Cosmetics as well. So, I'm going to use this bronzer and a brush and gold from the top part of my ear downwards in circular motions and with a very very light hand as well i'm going to go in with this small brush and dip it in the same bronzer and just use this to contour my nose slightly not too much just it's it's the imani big bronzer actually it's in the shade number five to make my highlight a little bit more intense, I'm going to use the NYX Strobe, Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. And I'm going to go in with this light gold shade right here. I'm going to go ahead and pop this on top of the Milani. I forgot to use eyelashes. Uh, I knew there was something off about my makeup. This is the only drugstore eyelash I have and it's the Ardell Flawless Eyelashes. So now that my eyelashes are all on my eyelids, I'm gonna go ahead and line my waterline with my Kajal pencil liner. The easiest way I find to apply Pencil liner is by closing your eyes and just taking in the pencil in between your eyes. But no, like don't go in too deep and poke yourself. And I learned the method from my mom. This is how she used to apply her eyeliner when she used to go to work back in the day. And like I watch her do this in the car and it was just amazing. So yeah, that's how I learned how to apply my eyeliner that way. Yeah, enough of the small talk. Let's go in with the What's it called? With the Nudes palette by Maybelline. And I'm going to go in with this really, really dark. It's almost like black, but it's really, really dark brown. And I'm just going to apply a little bit to my bottom lashes to just smoke it out a little bit. Bottom lashes. The same eyebrow pencil that I use for my eyebrows and my lips is the Ruby Kisses brown eyebrow pencil this is quite new it still has the plastic on it so i'm just going to use this i haven't used it before I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Fix Wear Boost in Setting Spray. I'm 
Okay. That you're having fun, girl. You've been taking a flight. Would you 